Game number six in the Southeast Regional Championship here is uh, between uh, uh, Georgia and Florida. About to kick it off. Florida kicking off to Georgia. Strong run by Georgia, but the ball is going to go forward. The referee will order a scrum to Florida. Scrum setting in the uh, in the Georgia half. Florida going on the attack. Great pass. Florida throwing it around and number six for Florida. Daniel Nagy splitting the defense, scoring under the post. First five points go to Florida. Almost a, just a minute into the game. And the conversion attempt successful, so the score goes to uh, Florida 7, Georgia 0. Florida going to restart play with a kickoff. By Daniel Nagy again. Ball goes into touch off Georgia, so it'll be a Florida line out to restart play. A little bit of a miscue there. Florida back on the attack after winning the line out. Not a switch play going on here. Florida player almost isolated. And standing around throwing passes, loose passes. But they've got an overlap out wide if they can get it going quickly. Daniel Nagy again with a great sidestep. Good offloading. Not an accidental trip there, but uh, Florida stay on the attack. The referee has his whistle in his mouth, but looks like an advantage to advantage to Georgia. Penalty to Georgia. Georgia going to restart from their own line here. Great break there by Georgia. He's got support. More support, but the loose pass there goes to Florida. Offload to uh, Stephen Beckery, and it goes loose. The Georgia player did touch it down on, on his own uh, behind his own line there, so it's a uh, it's a 22 meter kick. Georgia will be kicking it from their 22 meter to Florida. To restart play. Florida dominating at the moment, staying in the Georgia half. Georgia attacking out of their own 22. Standing in the tackle. Now starting to throw it wide, almost intercepted. Colby O'Malley 
Colby O'Malley Deaton with the intercept there scores a try for Florida. Which takes the uh, takes the score to Florida twelve and uh, uh, Georgia zero. We've got Robert joining us in the booth now. Robert, it's a uh, uh, the last game, very 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 fast game with uh, Alabama showing out nineteen points to South Carolina twelve and. Uh, um, Probably the uh, the toughest game so far in this championship series, but uh, a lot of teams still in this uh, in this championship. Oh, most definitely, but I think that the South Carolina Alabama that could be a prelude for the championship game. Both these teams are very tough and a bit unlucky for South Carolina after that intercept by Alabama. But credit to Alabama for intercepting that pass and making the most of the opportunities to come over with the win at the last minute. Conversion there by Carl Burnett, and I believe I. Uh, Misspoke earlier on, giving a try earlier to uh, uh, Daniel Nagy when uh, it's actually number five, not number six. Having difficulty seeing the numbers from this this far away, Robert. Yeah, it's a little bit different in football where you just get to see the names on the back of the jerseys here. It's a little tougher. And Burnett kicks off again, but he doesn't. The kick doesn't make ten yards, so it'll be a penalty to to uh, Georgia. Florida matching up. Georgia with the kick, but they're running out of space here unless they can make that line break. Georgia running alone out there, but there's the support getting to him. It'll kick straight to Georgia. No advantage. There was a penalty advantage in play, and uh, with uh, Florida being offside... Georgia finally actually getting, enjoying a spell of possession here against Florida because they've been dominating most of this first half. Let's see if they can take advantage. They start their attack. And I believe it's going to be a knock on, but it's a turnover to Florida. Nice kick forward. A race for the ball here down the sideline with uh, the Georgia man getting isolated, but he gets away from the first two tackles. Finally taken down, Georgia regrouping, throwing it wide. The ball's knocked out, but it's knocked backwards. Georgia on the attack, straight down the sideline. It'll be a race to the try line, and number two for Georgia. Um, scores the try under the post to, uh, to bring the score. 14 to 5, 5 points to Georgia in the second half here, so they're, they're trying to play catch up. It should be an easy conversion. And it is a two point conversion to Georgia, so the score goes to uh, 14 to 7 in favour of Florida. Game's not over. Georgia do have to uh, kick off to Florida. A good kick. Georgia going to contest the possession. And it goes to Georgia. Nice pick up there by their, by their big man. Imago, and uh, he scores under the post. So it's a quick try to Georgia. And if this can be this, this is conversion, which it should convert, which it should be, it'll be a uh, tied game. So the conversion brings the uh, bring this brings the score to fourteen points apiece. Referee rules the end of the first half, so. Uh, We'll see, Robert, how this second half goes here. Let's 
Sir Robert the Strong run, running Obam in Monaco for Georgia has tied the game up and uh, it, uh, it should be an interesting game this second half. Florida um, took off early with uh, 14 points but Georgia have caught up. Yeah, they definitely have come back and at the end of that first half there and look for Georgia to keep pouring on the pressure here and Florida's got to make a way to stop this momentum from them where it could get out of hand for them as well. So again, we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes with kickoffs, with uh, players not kicking at uh, 10 meters. There is a bit of wind, but it's across the field, not against them. So um, here we have Kyle Burnett making a jigging run. Georgia, Georgia committing just one player to their tackles. Keep their line. They're forcing Florida backwards at the moment. Knock on by uh, Florida and the referee is going to order a scrum down with uh, it'll be a Georgia ball. Talk about that slight breeze. I guarantee you the kickers will say that the breeze is definitely affecting their kicks but not that much wind but Good job by Georgia here. They're playing. I feel like they're a lot more organized than they were at the very beginning of the game. They were playing a little sloppy with the defense. They're coming up in lines now and putting a lot more pressure on Florida than they were at the very beginning of the game. And it's one of them to scrum right here for that pressure. And if they get their uh, number three big man running too, he's a he's a hard man to pull down. Uh, good switch pass there, and they bring it back to the other side of the field. But they've passed it straight to Florida. Florida knock it on. So it'll be a. Uh, the referee has ordered that it was a uh, forward pass by Georgia, so Florida, by knocking it on, did not take advantage of it and will be restarted with a scrum on the Georgia 22. I believe the Florida player was just really surprised the ball went straight to him and just <laughs> knocked it forward. That could have been an opportunity, huge opportunity for Florida for points, but he just got a scrum, so hope maybe they can capitalize right here as well. Carl Burnett, a great attacking player, has unloaded it to uh, the inside and back out to Florida. Supporters there, but the uh, defense was there as well. Some diving tackling attempts by Georgia, but uh, Florida regrouping. Carl Burnett again, sidestepping his way forward. Florida throwing the ball around, but... Uh, A diving, uh, diving try by uh, by the Florida support there. They uh, they maintained the pressure, and uh, while Georgia were uh, up to the defense, they eventually ran out of steam there. And Georgia and Florida are over the line to take the game to 19 points to seven. We go halfway into the second half with uh, with uh, Burnett attempting the uh, conversion. Burn is definitely leading this attack for the Gators, making moves out there, passes pretty much to the quarterback of this off Florida offense right now. And right here about to try to kick this conversion. Try to put them up by seven points, which would be huge in sevens rugby. But a bit of an angle here. Let's see if he can get it to go in. Mm, just short, but nice kick there. But he's definitely the key to this Florida offense right now. He's just definitely the general of this team. Looked like a good quick kick, but the uh, the wind just held it up short of the post. So the 19.7 uh, Florida advantage, and they get to kick off to to Georgia to restart the game here. And again, the ball is not going to go the 10 meters required. Georgia possession. Georgia will get possession penalty at the halfway mark. Simple mistake, Robert, but it's uh, we've seen a lot of it today. Yeah, definitely several kicks. Maybe I feel like the most of the teams you think are going to have to start adjusting to this win. Maybe I had to kick it a little deeper instead of trying to get it short now. Indeed, and a great step there by by Georgia to run it in almost under the post, and this could put Georgia in front. Uh, uh, 
deep into the or early into the second half here, sorry. And Burnett's misconversion right now could come back and bite them as Georgia's able to come up by two, so it's a huge conversion coming up right here. And it's good for Georgia, so now they have the two point lead over Florida and you know can how quickly things can change in rugby sevens with all that space and the pace of players. You know, one second you're up, and the next second someone's in the tries on you're down. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, very different game to to 15 man rugby. The uh, that simple overlap, good passing, like simple overlap. The technique and the fundamentals are so critical in this game. Kick off. Everybody on side, a good kick. And the Georgia, the strong Georgia defense there, and a missed tackle by Florida. Try time. Gives Georgia uh, another try, another very, very quick try to, uh, to take them. Um, from a two-point advantage to a, uh, a seven-point advantage and maybe a nine-point advantage. Yeah, these forwards for Georgia right now are just bullying the Florida defense right here, just cutting through and just bending off stiff arms. And right now, Florida can't cope with it, and they're up already up by seven. And a good kick and with Russia's an angle, good. and now Florida's up by nine. So, and Georgia's, excuse me, is up by nine. So it's going to be a hard deficit for Florida to try to fight back from. But we always talk about the speed and pace of sevens. But you know, those forwards are also very important out here on the sevens. Well, that's right. The uh, two of your options in attack are pounded up and uh, we'll send it wide. You need both speed and power. Another good attempt at knock on, but the, the Georgia player apparently knocked it forward and was just trying to trying to uh, jump and knock it back to his men. But it'll it'll be a Florida scrum. There was no advantage. Florida needs to get on the board here fairly quickly. They're down nine points, but they're immediately on the attack. Yep, it'll be a knock on here to Georgia. And that's the end of the game. So, uh, so Georgia have indeed come back and put um, twenty-eight points to nineteen on uh, on uh, Florida. In what turned out to be a different game to what we saw start, so it's uh, Georgia got their big man, especially I think the power was just too much for for Florida, and and uh, finally uh, Georgia came out on top, 28 points to 19.